6-1 Extra Practice Number 3 Solutions on Simplifying Rational Expressions. For this one, we're going to try to solve a puzzle. Here is the puzzle we're trying to solve. In this one, we're trying to solve the riddle, what do you call an alligator that sneaks up and bites you from behind? I can only imagine. Uh, we have all these rational expressions we have to simplify, and the idea here is that once you've got one of the answers, find it down below and cross off the box and the letters that have that answer. Uh, all the stuff you haven't crossed off at the end of this one will spell out the answer to this riddle. Let's do it. So here's our opening problem. Now our strategy on all of these is going to be more or less the same. We're going to factor as much as we can in the very beginning, and then we'll start canceling and reducing whatever we can. Um, but we have, to, we have to make sure that we have a multiplication situation before we try to cancel anything out. So for this first one, uh, the numerator, I can factor that a little bit. I can take a 2 out of the 2x and the 10. So taking out that 2, that leaves me with an x plus 5. And then down below the x plus 5, I'll just bring that down. So now I notice these x plus 5s can cancel out. And that leaves me with 2 in the numerator, 1 in the denominator, so just 2 over 1 or just 2. Finding that in my answers here, I see that next to the word 2, which is kind of ironic. Uh, so let's just cross that off and move on to the next. On this next problem, taking a look at this, uh, I notice that I can factor out the denominator. So the numerator, I'll just keep the way it is, x minus 3. The denominator, though, I can take a 7 out of that. That leaves me with an x minus 3. Conveniently, those x minus 3s cancel out. In my numerator, since I've canceled out everything, I'm left with just 1 up there. Uh, denominator, I just have that 7. So 1 over 7. Finding that down below, I see that, where is it? Right there, TE. So let's cross off that. For number 3, taking a look at my numerator, x squared minus 4. That's the difference of squares. I can use my square rooting shortcut with the plus and minus for that. So square root of x squared is just x. Square root of 4 is 2, so I have x plus 2 and x minus 2. And this x plus 2 that was in the denominator just comes down here. So now these x plus 2s can cancel out. That leaves me with just x minus 2. And x minus 2, that's this at answer over here, so let me cross that off. On number four, it looks like the numerator and denominator can both be factored. So this is the first time that's happened on this puzzle. Uh, so for the numerator, that's another one of those plus minus shortcuts. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 25 is 5. So x plus 5, x minus 5. And then down below here, I have a common factor of 3 that I can take out from everything, leaving me with an x and a minus 5. X minus 5s can cancel, and that's about it. So in the numerator, I still have an X plus 5. Denominator, now all I have is a 3. X plus 5 over 3, I see that over here toward the middle, this BI is gone. For this problem, it looks like I can factor out both the numerator and the denominator. So for the numerator, all I can do is take out an X. That's going to leave me with an X plus 4. For the denominator, I can also take out an x. That leaves me with an x minus 9. These x's can cancel now since they're being multiplied by something. And all that's left in my numerator, we have an x plus 4. Denominator, we have that x minus 9. x plus 4 over x minus 9 is over here toward the end. So uh, no is a no. On number six, I've got a little bit of factoring to do before I can cross anything off. For my numerator, I need factors of 10 that add up to 7. So we have n plus 2 and n plus 5. 1 and 10 wouldn't have worked. Uh, down below here, I need factors of negative 15 that add up to 2. 1 and 15 doesn't work. 3 and 5 works if I have a negative 3 and a positive 5. So we have n minus 3, n plus 5. The n plus 5s can cancel, so all I'm left with is an n plus 2 over n minus 3. And all that is going to be, let's see here, I see it right here, es, so cross that off. For this next problem, I can factor the numerator and denominator, so let me start factoring. For my numerator, I need factors of 12 that add up to negative 7. 
1 and 12, 2 and 6, no. How about 3 and 4? If they're both negative, that works. So n minus 3, n minus 4. And down below here, we've got factors of negative 3 that add up to negative 2. 1 and 3 is really my only option. And I can make it work if it's a positive 1 and a negative 3. So n plus 1, n minus 3. I see these n minus 3s are going to get canceled. So I have an n minus 4 left over in the numerator over n plus 1. And all of that I see over down here toward the bottom. Uh, so TE gets crossed off. For number 8, let me do a little bit of factoring before I try canceling anything. Uh, so for my numerator, I just need factors of negative 18 that add up to 7. 1 and 18 doesn't work. 2 and 9 does the job if I have negative 2, positive 9. So n minus 2, n plus 9. Uh, down here, I can use my square rooting shortcut. Square root of n squared is n. So n plus 2 then, because uh, the square root of 4 is 2. And then n minus 2 completes that stuff. So these n minus 2s cancel out. And then n plus 9 over n plus 2 gives me my answer, which is AP right here, cross that off. For number 9, we can factor numerator and denominator. For my numerator, all I can do is take out a common factor of 4. That leaves me with an n plus 7. Uh, down here, I need factors of negative 7 that add up to 6. So 1 and 7 is all I can do. Uh, if I have a negative 1, positive 7, that works. So n minus 1, n plus 7. n plus 7s are gone. We have a 4 left over there over an n minus 1. 4 over n minus 1 is the very first item here, so I'll cross that off. For number 10, this is the first time in a while where one side can't be factored. So this n minus 6, I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Uh, down below, we can take out an n for a common factor, though. That leaves me with an n minus 6. n minus 6s are gone. There's nothing else upstairs, so there's an invisible 1 left over. And then we just have an n in the denominator. 1 over n, that's going to be this ry, which is now getting crossed off. For number 11, we're back to a problem where I can factor the numerator and denominator. For the numerator, I can take out both a 2 and a b. That leaves me with a b minus 3. Denominator, I can take out a 5 and a b. So that leaves me with a b minus uh, 3 there as well. So it looks like these b's can cancel. b minus 3's also can cancel out completely. So that just leaves me with a 2 over a 5. And 2 fifths is br right here. Brr. For number 12, let me go ahead and factor the numerator and denominator. In the numerator, I need factors of negative 21 that add up to 4. So 1 and 21 won't work, but 3 and 7 does. Negative 3, positive 7. So b minus 3, b plus 7. In the denominator, I, I can actually maybe do this in a couple steps. I can take out a 2 for sure. That leaves me with b squared minus 9. Now, I'm going to bring this b minus 3 and b plus 7 down because I have a little more work to do in the denominator. So this is a difference of squares. I can use my square rooting shortcut. So I've got the 2 that I took out initially. And now the square root of b squared is b. Square root of 9 is 3. So I have b plus 3 and b minus 3. And then I notice that these b minus 3s can cancel. So in the numerator, I still have a b plus 7. Denominator, I've got a 2 b plus 3. And where do I see all that? Right up here in the middle toward the top. Uh, so let's cross that off and move on to the next. Number 13 seems to have a lot going on with all these b's and other uh, numbers. But let me start by taking out some common factors and, and see if we can get to the bottom of this one. So for my numerator, I can take out a 3 and also a b. That leaves me with a b plus 5. Denominator, I can definitely take out a 2 and a b from there as well. So that'll be b squared minus 25. I'll bring my numerator down because I have a little more work for my denominator. Uh, this b squared can get split up. So I have the 2b that I brought down. And now using my square root plus minus shortcut, square root of b squared is b. Square root of 25 is 5, so b plus 5 and b minus 5. 
going back now and canceling out what I can, the Bs can cancel, so can these B plus fives. So what's left when the dust settles, numerator, I have a three. Denominator, that's a two and a B minus five. Three over two parentheses, B minus five. Uh, let's see here. This one looked kind of similar, but it's not quite what I need. How about this? Three, two, B minus five. Yep, do. There we go. 14 has all sorts of craziness going on. Uh, let's start by factoring the numerator. Now, I notice this is a perfect square sandwich. Uh, so using my perfect square, squared parentheses shortcut, square root of b squared is b, square root of 4 is 2. Since the middle term here is positive, that'll be a plus 2, whole thing squared. And just to double check, if I multiply b and 2 together and double it, I do get the 4b that's in the middle. Um, so there's the numerator, all factored. That's kind of nice. Next up, the denominator. Uh, this one, I'm going to have to use the AC method or guess and check. Let me use AC method. So 2 times negative 2 is an AC of negative 4. So I want factors of negative 4 that add up to 3. Uh, 1 and 4 works if I have negative 1 and positive 4. So I'm going to split this up, and I'm going to do some scratch work over here on the side. So I've got 2b squared uh, minus b plus 4b minus 2. So again, I split up that 3b right there into a negative b plus 4b. Now since there's four terms, I can use grouping. So I'll take a b out of the first two. That leaves me with 2b minus 1. For the next two, I can take out a 2, leaving me with 2b minus 1. 2b minus 1 is the common factor that comes out of all that. And then b plus 2 is my leftovers. So I'll put all this now in my denominator, 2b minus 1 and b plus 2. So I factored as much as I can, anything I can cancel out. Well, I have a b plus 2 up here and also down here. So I can cancel out one of the b plus 2s in the numerator with the b plus 2 in the denominator. Now when I do that to show this, I'm going to cross this whole b plus 2 off down here, and I'll just cross off the 2 upstairs, um, because if I cross that off, now I just have one of these b plus 2s in the numerator. So I've got a b plus 2 over a 2b minus 1, and I see all of that. Uh, let's see, where is it? Do, 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 do. Right there, re, b plus 2 over 2b minus 1. So cross that off. And we move on to the final problem. All right, here we go, last problem. My numerator, I can take out a common factor, definitely can take out a 6, and also a b squared, because that's the lowest exponent there. So that leaves me with just a b to the first, minus, uh, let's see, that'll be a 4, b squareds cancel completely. For my denominator, I need factors of negative 20 that add up to 1. So 1 and 20, nope, 2 and 10, no, how about 4 and 5? Uh, negative 4, positive 5 works. So b minus 4 and b plus 5. b minus 4s cancel, so that's just 6b squared over b plus 5. And I see that over here toward the upper left, so cross that off, and we're ready to go ahead and solve the puzzle. Okay, I've crossed off everything I can. We're out of problems. Let's see if we can solve this now. So I, I see an at as my first two letters. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the letter A as a word or at. I don't know. Let's look at the next thing. A-I. Hmm. Uh, I don't really think that spells anything yet. A tie? No. Uh, let's see. We have an L and a G. Well, I think if we have the letter A as just one word and T-A-I-L, that spells out tail. So let's go with that. We still have this G left over. Now we have an A and a T, GAT. Uh, that doesn't sound like anything just yet. What else do we have? We have an O-R. Oh, gator. So what do we call a, an alligator that sneaks up and bites you from behind? A tailgator, right? Like somebody who's uh, having a, a pre-Super uh, Bowl party in the parking lot kind of thing. Uh, anyway, till next time, Mr. Sutton signing off.